Garoppolo, uh, you know, when he got hurt initially last December, he, he avoided surgery and he was pushing to maybe potentially return if the 49ers may have run the playoffs, which they did. Obviously, he didn't end up coming back. Um, did he have any sort of off-season surgery or procedure to address his issues? Yeah, I'm not. Again, I'd say the same thing. There's a number of guys, um, and I'm really, honestly, not going to talk about the specifics of those things. Um, uh, again, those are private to those guys uh, individually. Um, but, uh, you know, everything that's happened since we've signed Jimmy, uh, we we knew ahead of time. It's the same thing with Tyree. I would say it's the same thing with, you know, a number of guys um, that we're aware of. So certainly had an awareness of all of it. Um, and, again, our, our preference is to not to push and rush anybody back at this point in time. Could we? I mean, you could make that decision. It's just, you know. <clears throat> I think the most important time of the year is going to happen when we get to training camp so that we're we're ready to go. We can do the work we need to do in August. And a non-injury um, player to reference, Josh Jacobs, obviously he hasn't signed his. So yep. I believe he hasn't signed his tenure yet. Is there any hope that he could be out there for OTAs? Um, I mean, that's obviously that's up to, to JJ. Um, you know, there's nothing really to report on that front. Um, I stand by what I've said all along. Love the player and the person. and. Um, I'll be excited when I see him. Coach, I know it's a small sample size, but what have you seen from Trey Tucker that kind of gets you excited? Well, when we, you know, when we evaluated Trey uh, coming out, uh, first of all, Trey is a captain. He's a extremely bright guy, uh, hard worker, um, impacted in them in the kicking game and offensively. And again, is a guy that can run, uh, really run. And so, you know, you take a guy like that and. You know, there's a number of ways that he could um, factor, um, you know, play on the coverage teams at Cincinnati. And, you know, there's there's a lot of things that he that he did that maybe didn't show up in the stat sheet, um, but productive on offense, productive in the return game, productive in the coverage units, adds an element of speed and toughness. Um, so, again, this is his third third day, you know, out here in, in OTA. So, um, you know, still learning a lot like all the rookies are, but – um, excited about you know what what Trey can do. Another uh, new face you got so. receiving uh, receiver wise is Jacoby Myers, and he, he really uh, credited you for pushing him at the at early in his career. What uh, what was his development like from your vantage point? How nice is it to uh, be here in United? Yeah, United? he's a I mean an undrafted guy, you know, and um, I believe right now half of our roster is undrafted. Um, so the 91 that we actually have on the roster, um, you know, I think 45 of them are, are undrafted. So, um, you know, there's a lot that goes into that. You know, first of all, it doesn't matter how you, you get somewhere. It just matters what you do once you're there. And I think Jacoby um, had a great attitude from the moment that, that I was able to work with him. Um, you know, learned. Uh, I was like a sponge in the classroom. Um, took as, as many reps as he could in, uh, in the offseason and training camp. Tried to learn from the players that were ahead of him. Uh, really, you know, dove in and tried to improve every day. And a lot of those guys that make it, you know, as undrafted players, and we had some last year that made our football team and impacted us significantly through the course of the season. They all have the same mindset. You know, they they compete. They don't care about status, draft status, draft position, et cetera. They come in. And they earn their role on the football team, and that's what Jacoby did uh, when he was a rookie. And uh, he's just continued to do that, and, you know, he, he continues to do it today. So excited to, to have him join our group. Um, you know, he's gained a, uh, some knowledge and depth of uh, experience now over the first four years of his career that um, you, know, you can just see how much he's grown.